That it's same energy that you yelled Obama for in our auditorium, I want that in there, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. yes. Make sense? Yes. yes. Okay. Hi. <laughs> We're a part of Celebration Inauguration. Uh, we're from Middle School 113 down the block, and these are all 7th and 8th grade students, and we're a performing arts school, so this is my choir. We've been asked, along with the jazz band, um, we're, we've been performing up and down the streets as part of the Decal Business Association, um, who is in charge of throwing the celebration inauguration. Listen to the sound of my voice, can you feel the beat of my heart? Right now, today, the most proudest day for me to be an American. The world is looking at Obama as a, yeah, a sign of a big change, you know, and uh, they're looking at him as like somebody they're training. Look in my eyes, can you feel my end is reaching? Give us hope and we'll show you the way. Obama made phone calls, all those kind of things, and I didn't. Part of me truly didn't believe that it was going to happen. So when it did happen, it was, you know, it's a shock. I feel good. In my lifetime, I cried when Tiger Woods won the Masters. I thought that was the biggest shit on planet Earth. But God damn it, Obama won it. There it is. It's not going to be an easy ride, but um, we're prepared. We're ready to link arms and, and walk through the fire. We're community organizers. Yeah. He's got me thinking in a different way about, you know, what my little part of my world is that I want to create. You feel that his words are coming from his heart, you know? And I think that's a very important uh, thing for the, for the people. Even if the government is doing its job correctly, people still have to have ownership or pride in what they're doing individually. Everybody got to work together and make everything right. It wasn't, if Obama wasn't going to be president, I would have closed down and gone somewhere else. But, you know, I'm here. Thank you, Obama.